Ooh, how you doing there, Slash Ass? Oh, today we're going to be showing you how the history's all wrong. Oh, yes, we are. And we're also going to show you all the pottery that was found in all over the world that shows that humans coexisted with these here dinosaurs. Uh, you see this one right here that's eating your uh, 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 buddy there, uh, you know, the, the rabbit there, oh, your favorite there. Oh, he likes rabbit. I uh, told him, oh, you know what? I told him, oh, but you any money? Uh, if you can find a little piece of pottery for me, it's got slack ass's face on it. Uh, or, uh, you know, or his Astroman buddy's face there. Don't matter much now, does it there, slack ass? Uh, I would uh, feed him a nice juicy rabbit. And since he, uh, since he, uh, found uh, Astor Brand's face right there. I uh, gave him uh, one of your little ra rabbit buddies there to have as a treat. <laughs> uh, I'd like to see Pop Robs get out of this one here now. Huh? Oh, this here dino's got a good grip now. Anyways, on to the story. Uh, now, we're going to show you wow, these here doomstones there. I'll tell you, they're called burial stones there, slack asses. Burial stones. Can you say burial stones? Ooh, ooh, I don't really think you can now, can you there, slack ass? Oh, huh? because it's not a sophisticated word that you can pronounce now. Right, that right there, slack ass. Huh? Okay, there. I'm going to show you this one little clip here now. You pay attention now. Now, it's real important here now. Huh? Hey, there, uh, roll the film. Huh? The arches at uh, Natural Bridges National Monument. And here, uh, Dr. Swift down there, who was working with me, is pointing up where the era is to uh, a protected area where the Anasazi Indians uh, did their petroglyphs about a thousand years ago, according to the park rangers. And you climb up there on that little ledge and look at that, and you see a number of the petroglyphs. It's covered with heavy desert varnish so that it's difficult to photograph. But uh, right over my head, you see the Anasazi warrior and then the snakes. But then right beside me, if we highlight the significant area, you can see the dinosaur, which even uh, the secular archaeologists have acknowledged sure looks like a dinosaur and covered with the varnish so that the antiquity is, is really not questioned. Well, that looks like a dinosaur to me, hasn't it? You there, slack ass. Well, that's Uno Dinosaur. And they lived with the Indians. Oh, what did the park ranger say? A thousand years ago? Oh, me, oh my. It uh, doesn't seem like no uh, 450 million years ago to me now, did it now? Now, how could dinosaurs get onto these cotton picking paintings now, huh? How could they get onto these stones? Oh, we're going to have to find out now by looking at the next slip here now, aren't we, slack ass? Okay, now, uh, roll the next. <laughs> has a collection of Inca burial stones that uh, begun to be made by his father back in the 30s. He's continued that collection. These are stones that are buried with the, in the tombs with the, the Incas, and they have scenes carved over them, most of them. He has a collection now of over 11,000 of these burial stones. About a third of them are the most disgusting pornography you've ever seen, but about a third of them have dinosaurs on them. Here is one in place in the tomb, but looking at a close-up of these stones, you can see the rather artistic rendition of the dinosaur. Interestingly, this one has the dermal frills on its back when Mr. Sinclair did his sign with the dinosaur. He didn't know that it had frills on its back, but they did it right. This was written up in Geology Magazine in 1992 for the first time when we found them well preserved. But there are thousands of these stones. This is one of the larger ones. Again, rather artistically rendered. Looking at a close-up, you can see the dinosaur in the upper right-hand corner with the man foot in his mouth. Oh, isn't that right there, slack ass? You put your foot right in your mouth there this time now, didn't you there? Uh, and you took your rabbit buddy there uh, with you too at the same time. Oh, yes, you did there now. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Now, you want to tell me how they can find dinosaurs, dinosaur pictures on burial stones that are only 3,500 years old, slack ass? Oh, my, me, oh, my. There's something wrong with this whole picture here. Looks like the history of the world's about to change now, isn't it there, slack ass, huh? And you don't you go running over to your 
doggone Pop Robson bunny there, this here rabbit, and try to pull out a whole bunch of dictionary words out of the encyclopedias because ain't going to help you here. No, it is not, sir, slackass. If you're not careful, I'm going to feed you to this here dinosaur too there. Hey, I'm going to rip here this uh, bunny of yours off a t-shirt, feed him to this dinosaur here too now. Uh, uh, right there now. I don't know how you're going to explain how dinosaurs uh, and Indians ended up living together. Uh, you know what? There's slackass. It even makes me scratch my head now. Oh, I really don't get that one now. Hey, that, that's a real new one to me now too, isn't it? There, now, slackass. Huh? Oh boy, oh boy, now, if you think this is crazy, ooh, just wait till you see the next video clip coming up there. Uh, right there, or, uh, roll the next clip. We're seeing dinosaurs. 2,000, 3,000 years ago. Now, we're told that we've known what dinosaurs looked like for maybe, well, the first ones found in 1820, we didn't know what they looked like very well. The restorations were silly. Uh, after the turn of the century, early 1900s, we got a fair idea, and really not an excellent idea. And, well, 1992, we learned the uh, Brontosaurus-type had frills on its back. Uh, <clears throat> these people didn't show a gradation in learning. They got it right, right from the start. Looks like they got it right from the start. Ah, now, how could that possibly be? You know, how could an ancient people get it right from the start now? Whoa, now, couldn't it be that uh, all those years ago we could have been closer to being perfect or something like that? They're now like at. I think it's that's exactly what has happened here. Now all we've done is uh, we just degraded uh, over over these years now. Hey, don't you go tell me that we've been here for six million years and all that stuff kind of rubbish there. There's no evidence of it. There's like ass. Uh, you go take your carbon dating and shove it up this here dinosaur's beak. All right there. Because there's no evidence of it. You and your apes and people coming from apes and all that stuff there. Oh my gosh. That's just as bad as your national style and next slash slack lace. There no isn't it there slack ass. Oh I think so. Oh my goodness. Now how could dinosaurs and humans be living side by side three thousand years ago? Well you know what? It makes sense to me you now there, you know. Makes a lot of sense there, because the carbon dating, as I said, is wrong. Ooh, can you say that I, yeah, non-sophisticated word there for slack ass? Wrong. Ooh. Oh, uh, ooh, I think you're, uh, well, wait a second here. I think your little, uh, uh, rabbit there, buddy's trying to give you a ding-a-ling on the telephone there. Oh, wait on a second here. Oh, uh, by the way, there's slack ass. Ooh, uh, since you're so crazy and stupid and take your NASA stuff. Uh, and you can uh, put it right up uh, where the dinosaur's rear end is there over there now, you see? Uh, okay, I just want to do one last thing. Got to roll one more clip for you just to prove to you that Indians and dinosaurs existed together 3,500 years ago now. Don't you get that there right through your freaking the third dead there? No, it's not cast. It is, uh, the, the column itself is an uh, abstraction that's put together based on the assumption of evolution, useful as a model that we can test against the real world, and when we do, we find it fails. It is contradicted. It's not proof. It is a demonstration of what ought to be that isn't. And let's conclude with a statement by Nova, who came to Glen Rose, looked at the same pictures that you looked at. The people that photographed it and interviewed us were excited. They thought they had some earth-shaking news and went back, and the editor wouldn't allow them to publish it. They did publish a brief presentation called God, Darwin, and the Dinosaurs and mentioned dinosaur footprints side by side with humans. Finding them would counter evidence, they said, that humans evolved long after the dinosaurs became extinct, which is, of course, what's taught in the textbooks. It would counter that and back up the claim that all species, including man, were created at one time. Nova knows what that means. And therefore, they said in this blurb, there's nothing at Glen Rose that looks anything like a footprint, a human footprint. Now, you can decide for yourself whether that's true. If there's something there that does look like, and we've shown that there are human footprints there and that that's the most reasonable conclusion, then this is what it means, according to the evolutionists themselves. Well, isn't that 
that right there is like ass. Oh, well, it just goes to show you that humans came along long after them. Their dinosaurs uh, went uh, goodbye, and uh, oh, just a few of them uh, still kicking around because, as you can see right here, you they, they did some real uh, heavy-duty analysis, uh, lots of numbers and figures and stuff like that, you know, lots of paperwork, you know, that you're right into, and they figured out that, oh, they see these, these, uh, these dinosaurs here were around. Uh, the, uh, this one here says 2500 B.C. Uh, this one here says 2500 B.C. Well, that's plus or minus there, uh, slash ass there, uh, just in case you know what those numbers were there. And 2500 B.C. And the last but not least there, uh, again, 2500 B.C. So you see, they all say the same uh, kind of picking difference there now, don't they there now? Uh, that's right there. So that means that dinosaurs were here. Oh, yes, they were, but human beings were. Oh, yes, they were there. Uh, human beings were here. Long after the dinosaurs, you see there, ooh, can you say that? Long after the dinosaurs went goodbye, vanished history and all that stuff. But this here proves that there were still some dinosaurs that were still walking the face of this earth with all those kind of picking humans. Because how can humans be drawing dinosaurs 3,500 years ago on those cotton kind of picking tombstones now? Isn't that right there, slack ass, huh? Oh, you can take all your evolution and all your apes and coming from apes and six million trillions and billions and trillions. Oh, you sound like that Carl Sagan on uh, Ninkapoop there, now don't you there, slack ass? Oh, yes, you do. And you can take that rabbit and you can stuff the rabbit right where the sun don't shine too because he don't know what he's talking about neither there. No, you guys. Oh, I just don't know what to do with you two nincompoops anymore now. Ugh.